Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I wanted to talk about the art and illustration of Ivan Earl. And he was an animator and an illustrator for Disney in the 1950s and 60s. And he's best known for the movie Sleeping Beauty. But he also worked on Lady and the Tramp and some other things. And I just wanted to show you this really great book. Um, this was out of print for a while. And they've since brought it back. And I'm so glad. So this book has a little um, bit about his life. I will link to a video where he's narrating some of his own work so you can hear him speak about his work himself, which is always really nice to see when artists can, when they've saved and retained some things from artists talking about themselves and their history and projects they're working on. Um, he passed away in 2000. So I can't link his Instagram or anything, but he's such an amazing creator. And I really love his stylized trees and just sort of the style of his art. And I just kind of wanted to share that with you today and talk about that a little bit, um, where we drive inspiration. And animators are such a fantastic area of creation that sometimes I feel gets overlooked when people talk about illustrators. They often think of the traditional illustration but forget the digital side of it as well. And there's a great uh, community of animators on Twitter right now that's just lovely. And here is some of the pre-sketches for Lady and the Tramp. And my kids love this book as well. It's such a beautiful movie. If you can view it in the letterbox format to get the full illustration for Sleeping Beauty, I highly recommend it. And <clears throat> this page right here with all the layered panels of how he did his trees is a really great little tutorial if you're looking to um, try your hand at a different style. Sometimes it's really, really fun to try art in another artist's style to, it teaches you things. You learn something new every time you do something like that. And this is a great little panel to do that with. Oh, and here's her singing Aurora in the forest. Briar Rose, I suppose, was her name at the time. It is just beautiful. The colors, the illustrations. Um, and here are his fun stylized tree. Aren't those great? If you're looking for another movie that's done recently, that's in a illustrative style, that's actually illustrated and made into an animation I would recommend the movie Wolf Walkers and I believe right now it's July 2021 and I believe its official release date is in December um, I've already seen it <laughs> the kids and I have already seen it it's gorgeous it's based on an Irish folktale and that's all hand-drawn and they what they're doing now with every animation movie is they're producing a book of how the uh, characters and the backgrounds and the layout and how everything sort of came together and how it's all done. So every Disney movie you see now, there is a how it was animated or created book that you can purchase on Amazon that shows you how that how it was put together and it's such a really neat way to get inspiration and see the work that's gone into some of that and for creators that are really into character design or sort of layout and landscape it's such a neat fun way I mean look those trees are just everything and flora fauna and merryweather 
Um, this whole book is not all Sleeping Beauty. There's just a um, section of it that is. And then it later goes into some of his other work that's also beautiful. Oh, I love black and white. This man knew how to do a tree. And there are some portrait studies. I mean, what a fantastic artist. Isn't that beautiful? I love these. And these are bronze sculptures. And he did a lot of paintings later on. And there are books of just his um, later works and his paintings of his trees that can still be purchased online. What an inspiration. I mean, that is just a great tree. <laughs> oh, I love it. His use of color. Such an inspiration. I just wanted to share this book with you. Um, it's not, I don't recommend owning every book ever. I mean, you would have the ultimate art library. But for things that are near and dear to you or are a constant source of inspiration or idea, I would definitely check this one out. If your library doesn't have it, maybe suggest to them that they pick it up so they can have it and share it with the community. I mean, how fun is that? It's so beautiful. Those gorgeous colors. And all the layers all the layers of paint from the background to the foreground to the perspective it's such a great layout look at these trees I can't with that I love the rectangular treetops so beautiful I will leak everything I can find for him and the new movie coming out, Wolf Walkers, um, in the description box below. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.